Good morning, folks. We're starting with an Earth-scale look at the plasma filament dancing over the Sun's northeastern limb. Let's go ahead and check out the last day on our star. Not much happening in terms of solar flaring or ejecta. The top left filament does extend down and towards center disk for our top eruption threat today. The south was even calmer still. The lone destabilization event came from a tiny filament at the southern coastline of that dark coronal hole. It will not be relevant. What is relevant is the magnetic storm condition. Yesterday's impact telemetry in the solar wind has reversed and we are calming back down now. But reverberations and pressure remain so Earth's magnetic shield still a bit unstable this morning. The filaments will take a back seat soon. While the departing active regions continue to decay and pop some sea flares, coming over the limb is a sunspot that Stephen Shaw has been tracking on the backside as one of the most powerful of the entire solar cycle. There's actually a third umbra cresting with it as well. This far, we have only seen one M flare in this uptick and a slight rise to the baseline flaring, but that could all change soon. Same with the quaking. We expect an uptick from this seismic drought as soon as the powerful portion of the southern coronal hole can face Earth. will probably be tonight or tomorrow. We're still watching that Indian Ocean cyclone ripped an Earth spot quake yesterday that was tops for the day. Meanwhile, that newer cyclone has strengthened but will pull further east than originally anticipated. New Zealand appears to be out of the woods on this one. Southwest Australian low brings tonight's top alerts there. We might as well stick with weather and do our top story last. This tornado ripped through Illinois last night after spawning from a system directly along the convergence line. It's reported that people could see headlights go flying in the distance. The preliminary rating is EF4, which makes it a beastly twister. Tonight's alerts will be a bit lessened, but we still can't sleep on the heat and moisture drive heading north. That's pretty much flying solo on the storm front tonight here. Europe. Power low centered on Iceland. Its convergence cuts down and it is the primary weather watch for this area here. The top story for today's news will be discussed further on our Fly on the Wall episode today over at suspiciousobservers.org. We will be posting our next podcast in just a few hours. Membership is only 3 bucks a month or 20 bucks for an entire year, and we greatly appreciate your support. Today's show will discuss a number of topics, but we'll revisit what I feel is the overriding and most important topic in our community. Earth's magnetic field is changing. I've got a link below to this fairly recent paper, and it's worth checking out. But it also serves as only a secondary resource to the Swarm satellite mission, which has gone suspiciously quiet over the last 10 months. Earth's protective shield from deadly space energy is fading quickly and does so as Earth's poles continue to shift. We'll review some of the latest pole positions and tracking as well, and we'll look ahead into the future regarding when some of these major events might happen and what you might expect to see. We've got slight change to our current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.